Wednesday, day before Valentine's Day, February 2008. Worked hard today. The article I'm going to report on uses the basis for my comments tonight. Makes me sick. Thought about wearing my army hat and decided no. Kind of ashamed of my country and my army tonight because of the topic of the article that I'm going to talk about that was in Sunday's Yuma Daily Sun. Headline, Army Sniper Convicted of Killing Unarmed Iraqi Man. And he killed him. No question about it. None. None at all. But let me kind of lead you through. Surely you heard a little about it. My God, if you did, how can how can we stand still as an American public that claims to be, and I think really are, kind of a moral group of people that do think what's right is right, what's wrong is wrong. Not much space in between. Headline, Baghdad. Military court. I'm reading. A military jury on Sunday convicted an army sniper of murder and sentenced him to 10 years in prison for killing an Iraqi civilian who wandered into the hiding place where six soldiers were sleeping. Paragraph. Sergeant Evan Bella, 24, found guilty of murder without premeditation of aiding and abetting and planting an AK-47 on the dead man's body and of lying to military investigators about the shooting. He faced a possible life sentence. Only got 10 years. See, that should be a blessing, right? Pure, big deal. Vela showed no emotion when, he, when the verdict was read, but he asked the jury for mercy before it broke to decide his sentence. He apologized to the court, the army, and one of the sons of Gensel Nasser al Hanabi, the man he shot with a pistol in May. Quote, when I came to Iraq, I didn't come to do anything wrong. He was reading from a handwritten statement, it says. The quote continues, I failed my standards, your standards, and the standards of the army. All I can say is I'm sorry and ask for mercy. Well, that's really nice, isn't it? Good deal. Good deal. We should all be proud as Americans that justice has been served. Right? Yeah, yeah. We don't just allow some such senseless killing to go unpunished. Oh, yeah, right. But somehow I smell a rat. A rat think deal. And I read on. As Paul Harvey said, you know, he's that famous radio reporter, and he had that one little blurb that we all like to listen to. Now for the rest of the story. Well, let me read a little bit more of the story to you, as reported in the Daily Sun, no doubt picked up off of AP. I don't even think the facts here are questionable, but maybe they are. You know, who knows? In this day and age of Spin, Spin City, even a big series on the television programs. In the day of spinning everything, who knows if what you see is what is truth. At least if what is the whole truth is what you see. Vela's trial was the last of three snipers accused in a series of shooting deaths south of Baghdad that defense lawyers said happened under command 
pressure to increase kill quotas and perhaps employ questionable tactics in doing so. Now that's what the defense lawyers introduced as a possible background here. They didn't say it's true. In fact it says, quote, the army has declined to confirm that any such program existed saying it does not discuss tactics used in the field. Well, here's the deal. These guys were snipers. They had a hidey hole where they could see what was going on. It was very necessary that nobody know what place they were in. Whether they were jeopardized, their mission was jeopardized. And the gentleman that was killed and his son just stumbled in on them innocently. But gee whiz, they're liable to tell somebody. The snipers, I'm reading again, the snipers detained the man that was killed, Al Janabi, and the man's 17 year old son, Mustafa. They freed the boy, but minutes after he walked off, the commander ordered Vela to shoot the father. The soldier said Al Jahabi was making noise, and they feared he was trying to attract the attention of a group of military age males they thought they saw nearby. Now, the Army lawyer said it's a simple case. Captain Jason Neff, one of the two military prosecutors, quote, the reason is because Vela confessed on the stand that he lied. He confessed he killed an unarmed Iraqi. Think about it. Think about what the commanding ranking officer in this, or one of the ranking officers that were trying, persecuting, whitewashing, whatever you want to call this business, said. A simple case. In other words, he's guilty. The reason is because Bela confessed on the stand that he lied. He confessed he killed an unarmed Iraqi. Well, I'm telling you, I was in an army that you did what you were told. By the way, didn't want to wear that army hat tonight, so I have my father-in-law's old, old hat on. Good, true country boy. A man that trained mules to sell, and did successfully train mules and sell them to the Army in World War One. Charlie Williams loved a good laugh. He loved life. He also loved the truth. This is a... The Army, I believe, in, tells you to do something. You do it because you follow orders. I remember distinctly taking on my 18th birthday, or a day or two removed perhaps, but on my 18th birthday, I swear, blah, 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 and to follow all lawfully given orders. No, I didn't say lawfully given orders. Follow all orders. The fact that Vela was told to kill the man, he cannot, should not be spending 10 years. If anybody's going to be spending 10 years, the man that gave the order should be spending 10 years. But you know, there's a lot of this going on over there, and this particular case got to be an embarrassment, and so we make a goat out of Mr. Sergeant Vela. We did the same thing in the Korean War, Lieutenant Kelly. Our guys did a lot of what Kelly did that day. And they did it with a lot of people above knowing it was going on and if not ordering it, at least looking the other way. But Kelly gets to be our goat there. Vela gets to be our goat here. Captain Butcher of the Gucker, however you say his name, of the Navy. Another one that was made a goat as a cover-up went on for somebody doing exactly what the Army or the Navy expected to be done. Shame on us. Shame, shame, shame. And again, morality, morality, morality. Christian, Christian, Christian. 
yes, war is hell, but we shouldn't be making goats out of low-ranking people who are just caught up in the scheme of things that's being carried on under the direction of a president and a vice president that <clears throat> just think about where all this has started and from and where it comes down and this kid gets to spend 10 years in prison. I'm sad for him, I'm sad for the army, I'm sad for our country and God help us I hope we're going to get better, a whole lot better fast.